People think that all it takes to win an election is a catchy slogan, good packaging, and a million bucks. Think again. Ever since I was a child, I was passionate about election campaigns, fascinated with the process of influencing people to vote a certain way. But when I studied uh, political science in Geneva some 20 years ago, I was a bit disappointed because campaigns were barely an issue. If anything, political scientists have actually tried to prove that campaigns have limited to no impact. The argument goes like this. If a model can predict the outcome of the election six months before election day, before the actual campaign takes place, then the campaign can hardly have much of an impact. Well, it actually has become more difficult to predict election results. Because the world is changing, and it's changing at an increasingly fast pace. Nowadays, politics in many countries is very polarized, and the electorate is getting ever more volatile. So, what is the key to win an election in this new environment? I am here today to answer this question. In my experience, based on two dozen successful and a few painful, unsuccessful campaigns, it takes what I call the four M's to win high-profile campaigns. The first aim you need is the message. Now, when I talk about message to politicians, they often think of a tagline or an issue. A good message is more than a slogan. A good message, ideally, should uh, express something about you and about your opponent. Nowadays, Established traditional parties just evaporate. New ones come out of nowhere. We've long been experiencing this in developing countries. Now we see the same thing happening in the Western world. No party can count on loyal, regular voters. Therefore, a party has to constantly innovate, reinvent itself. With every election and new, you have to give voters a reason why vote for you. Ideally, not by talking about yourself, but by telling voters what's in it for them. I'm sure many of you still remember Barack Obama's slogan, Change We Can Believe In. It's probably one of the best campaign slogans in the history of US presidential elections. The fact that many of us still remember it more than 10 years later proves the point. But don't underestimate it. A good slogan is more than a play of words. A good slogan should summarize your message with forcefulness and passion. And change we can believe in did exactly that. If you have a message, now you need what I call a screenplay to communicate that message to your audience. You need media. You and I, we just met, but I actually know a lot about you. Are you aware of the fact that political consultants spend days trying to figure out what image to use to make you vote a certain way? What you see in advertising doesn't just happen by coincidence. I am one of the not so many who has both an academic background in political science but does campaigns for a living. I've used market research to figure out how to change the looks and behavior of the top candidate. Focus groups have revealed what campaign tools to use, what ads to air, and how to tweak them to make them even more effective. With social and online media, this second M is, of course, also rapidly changing. New cycles have become non-stop and we now have multiple media players. You may or may not like him, 
but a very good example is actually Donald Trump, who has brought reality television to politics and who illustrates that the key to be successful in this new environment is to be authentic. Voters have grown very cynical. They're willing to forgive a lot. They're willing to forgive character flaws, gloss over policy disagreements, if they feel that they are being given the real deal. Social media allows to directly communicate with your supporters and therefore is now part of almost any campaign. But its impact should also not be overestimated, because remember this, few people change their mind on social media. Now, let's talk about money, the third M. In this new context, if you have the right message, social media might actually help you raise tons of cash. Many people think that money is the most important factor. I say you can push the right message with less money. You may be not going to believe me, but I've actually had clients with too much money. Admittedly, not a problem that happens very often, but it still is a problem because it undermines discipline. There is a point where a campaign can afford so many ads and so many messages, you end up saying and being everything for everybody, and you end up winning nobody. Okay, you have a message, you have media, you have money, you're in pretty good shape. Now you need the fourth M, make no mistake. <laughs> Try making no major mistake. Major mistakes include starting too late, not getting accurate research, but by far the most common major mistake is to produce campaign materials without content. You have all just witnessed the Swiss election campaign. You have seen the many billboards of candidates with smiling faces and the slogan. Maybe some of you didn't understand the slogan. That's how I feel when I work in a country where I don't speak the local language. Make the test. If you look at the material, and by simply looking at it, you sense its propaganda, it's probably a waste of money. A friend of mine, who is an expat here, asked me, is there a law in Switzerland that demands all campaign billboards to look the same? <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, there is no such law. That's really how our politicians are. Why? because it takes a lot of courage to do things differently from all the others. So what I've been presenting here today is a very general approach and solution, which I'm sure will work everywhere where there are competitive campaigns. Of course, the historic background, political culture, the institutions are all important factors shaping campaigns. In other words, my model can be, and has to be, applied to the local setting. Maybe the content of the message will be different, the media we use to push it will be different. I'm sure you'll find new and different mistakes, but it still takes the four M's to win high-profile campaigns. Message, media, money, and make no mistakes. I told you at the beginning that I really like campaigns. I love it because it has speed and drive, but also because I do think it is a way to change things for the better. And you know what? This new environment opens up a lot of opportunities for campaigners. Think about it. If public opinion is getting ever more volatile, this means that it has never been more worthwhile to campaign. So, my formula is your formula. Use it to better understand what spin doctors are doing, but also get excited, get involved, and apply it for parties, candidates, and issues who deserve to win. Thank you very much. <laughs>